Hey, Doc. Get out of there! Don't move! Okay, okay. Get up! Okay. You don't remember me, do you? No. Doesn't matter. I remember you. What do you want? <clears throat> you sure you don't remember me? No. You were, you were there that day. Good for you. Head of the class. I'd just been assigned to undercover when you killed Sheila. I didn't kill her. Yes, you did, Doc. Here's some irony for you. It was Sheila who convinced me to join the police force. Said I was born to be a detective. But between you, me, and these four walls, I don't like it very much. The only thing that kept me going ever since she died was knowing that we'd meet up again. Oh, I knew you'd come back. All I had to do was wait and be patient. I got myself assigned to this precinct just so I'd be close for your homecoming. Oh, I waited for you, Dr. Connors. I waited. Please don't do this. Tell me something, Joanne. No. Do you mind if I call you Joanne? Oh, thank you. When the lieutenant told you that Gabriel was dead, did you feel what I felt when you killed my sister? I didn't kill her. It was a blood clot. It was an immoral. When our parents were killed, it was Sheila who raised me. Sheila, who worked hard to put herself through nursing school so I could have a better life. She was more a mother than a sister. And you ripped her away from me. Do you have any idea what it's like to lose someone that you really love? Oh, hang on. Yeah, I guess you do. You filled my sister's head with hope and lies. You gave her something she was never meant 